This is a very interesting question on data interpretation and a very important one too. After you watch this video, your doubt regarding degree and percentages in terms of data interpretation will be solved. Here we are going to see the expenditure incurred by Mr. Gupta on various heads. So in year 2001, the total salary of Mr. Gupta is 1,20,000 per annum. So he is earning 1,20,000 in 2001. So here is the percentage distribution on various heads for 2001. So the total salary of 1,20,000 is spent like for entertainment 18% of the salary, on savings 20%, food 15%, rent 10%, education 20%, transport 5%, taxes 12%. Okay. Now we will see how year 2002 goes. In year 2002, the salary becomes 2,40,000. And let us see his expenditure on various heads. But here is the tricky part. In this year the expenditure is not expressed in percentages. It is expressed in degrees. Like savings are 108 degree of the total. Food 72 degree. Rent 54 degree. Education 54 degree. Transport 36 degree. Taxes 18 degree. Entertainment 18 degree. So for one year the distribution is given percentage wise and for other year it is given degree wise. So that makes the question quite interesting, isn't it? You find it interesting, right? So the question is how much more money does Mr. Gupta spend on taxes than on transport in 2001? So we are talking about the year 2001. How much Mr. Gupta spend on taxes? It is 12% of the total. And how much on the transport? It is 5%. So you would be thinking let's just calculate the 12% and 5% of the total amount and then we subtract it. But that's a long way of doing it. What's the smart way of doing it? Just calculate the percentage difference directly. Since both the things are given in percentage for the same year, we can do this. So, taxes percentage 12 and transport is 5, so the difference is 7 percentage. And 7 percentage of what? The total amount he earns, the total salary, 1,20,000. So, 7 percent of 1,20,000 is 8,400. That is the answer. Next question is, what is the percentage increase in the angle subtended at the center by food in 2002 over that in 2001. So, we are talking about the percentage increase in the angle in 2002 and 2001 by food. If you see in 2002, the angle is already given as 72 degree for food. But in 2001, it is given in percentage and not in degree. So first of all, this percentage thing has to be converted to degrees. Okay. Because we have to find the percentage increase in the angle. The food in 2001 has to be converted to degrees like 15 by 100 into 360. So it becomes 54 degree. Food in 2002 is already 72 degree. So what is the percentage increase in degrees? It is 72 minus 54 upon 54 into 100. So that comes out to be 18 by 54 into 100. So 33.33 percentage. That's the answer. Next we have the percentage increase in savings from 2001 to 2002 is how many percentage points? more than that of transport. If you read the question again carefully, you will find that first of all we have to find the percentage increase in savings. 
then the percentage increase in transport and then we have to compare both these percentage increases so how to find the percentage increase in savings let us find what is the saving in 2001 and 2002 so in 2001 it is 20 percent of the total and in 2002 it is 108 degree of the total so in exact figure saving in 2001 is 20 percent of 120,000 that is 24,000 and in 2002 savings is 108 degree of total that is 108 by 360 into 2,40,000 so it is 72,000 so what is the percentage increase in savings it is 72,000 minus 24,000 it becomes 48,000 divided by 24,000 into 100 that is 200 percentage increase in savings now we have to see for transport which is 36 degree for 2002 and 5 percent for 2001 so let us see the exact figures amount spent on transport in 2001 is 5 percent of total so it is 5 by 100 of 1 lakh 20 thousand that is 6 thousand and then we have amount spent on transport in 2002 which is 36 degree so 36 by 316 to 2,40,000 it becomes 24,000 so the percentage increase on transport is 24,000 minus 6,000 that becomes 18,000 divided by 6,000 into 100 so it is 300 percentage increase okay now we are asked uh, what is the percentage increase in savings more than that of transport in terms of percentage points so percentage points is the difference of two percentages so the percentage point difference is 300 percent increase in transport minus 200 percent increase in savings so it is 100 so that's the percentage point difference we have got Next question is, if in 2003, Mr. Gupta's salary increases by 25% compared to the previous year and his expenditures on food and rent increase by 25% each and all other expenditures remains the same as that in the previous year, then what is the percentage increase in his savings from 2002 to 2003? So till now we knew about 2002 but now we are given some data about 2003 okay so what is given that the salary increases by 25 percentage so if we talk in terms of degrees let us talk in terms of degrees in order to simplify the calculations and in order to do them in a quick way because we are concerned with solving the problems in a smart way so salary in 2002 is given as total 360 degree okay because the entire salary distribution is with respect to 360 degrees now in 2003 there is 25 percentage increase so it becomes 360 plus 25 percent of 360 okay so that is 450 degree so if the salary in 2002 is 360 degree, it becomes 450 degree in 2003. What about the food and rent? The combined food and rent in 2002 is 72 plus how many for rent? 54. So it is 126 degree. It is given in the question that food and rent also increases by 25% in 2003. So in 2003, food and rent is 126 plus 25 percentage of 126 that is 157.5 degree so savings in 2003 how much for the savings okay because we have to find the percentage increase in savings it is given in the question that in 2003 food and rent increases by 25 percent 
and all other expenditures remains the same okay so the total salary in 2003 is 450 so we deduct all the expenditures from 450 in order to get the savings so 450 minus firstly we see for food and rent which we have seen that becomes 157.5 plus 54 for what education 36 for transport 18 for taxes and 18 for entertainment so we are left with savings as we have subtracted all the expenditures from 450 so it is 166.5 degrees so the percentage increase in savings how much saving is there in 2002 it is 108 degree as we can see in the diagram and now what is the saving we got in 2003 that is 166.5 degree so in 2002 it is 108 and 2003 it is 166.5 so we just find the percentage increase in savings 166.5 minus 108 upon 108 into 100 so as we calculate we find it as 54.16 percentage so that's the answer we get i hope you like the question and the concept behind this how to apply your mind with respect to degrees and percentages before you proceed we strongly suggest that you subscribe to our youtube channel youtube.com slash teach my course why because you will be getting live streaming of more explanatory videos and problems over youtube private links those are the unlisted videos in order to get those links i hope you have signed up using your mobile number here in case not go to the settings and just fill up your mobile number where you'll be getting the links for the youtube unlisted videos that is the live streaming of more solutions also you can submit your mobile number or your details on bit.ly slash teach my course in case you have any doubt or any query just post it in the discussion forum go to the discussion options here okay Thank you and happy learning.